Welcome back to Jurassic World Live! Oh, I didn't expect to be here again, but we are because, like, this is loads of fun. At the moment, they put in lots of really cool events that I'm really enjoying, as it is quite obvious, I would assume. And hold on, we're missing somebody! Heck yeah, we stood there! I always feel like somebody's watching me! It's a toast party! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we we got the tier nine uh what was it In incubator or something like that so that means we got 400 freaking atrosodistis dna so we can finally make it oh well done. oh i'm so proud of myself ah my lucky boy <laughs> this is one of the best uniques at the moment so I'm really looking forward to <laughs> not rating the game. <laughs> that would be stupid. Uh, <laughs> um, right, and then we can, I think we can almost get it at uh, level 23. Oh, look how cool it looks. It looks awesome. Oh, no, it crashed. <laughs> oh, maybe you're not the right one. Are you the right one I'm thinking of? I don't know if you are. I don't think you are the right one I'm thinking of. Hold on, who are you? Okay, you're that one. No, hold on, everyone's got this one. This is the one I'm wanting. Oh. Oh, it's Ghost. Oh, okay, no, never mind. Well, we got that one. We got the other one. They look so similar. Why do they make them so similar? Yeah, because this is the one who has the greater nullification priority. Uh, reduce. Not only do you go like nullify everything they've got, you reduce their damage for two turns, basically. And you also have an instant precise impact, which goes through, of course, cloak and dodge. And you also have berserk and decimating wound, which, you know, is a last ditch resort. You also have swap in nullification, ferocious counter stun. You stop them from swapping out and you have all of these resistances. Okay, it's this guy I need to pay attention to. And I need this one up to level 20. Ah, okay. Okay, well, at least we unlocked the other one. The other one is... A different dinosaur. Anyway, that is not the reason why we are here today. What do we need to make for this? Pyroraptor. Oh, I've got plenty of Pyroraptor and Sarko. Yeah, I got that basically level 40. So that's good. That one I need to focus on. Not not the other one. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but we, it, there's been a bunch of different bo boss battles. We had the, there was a giant panda I've actually took out yesterday. Of course, you had the frogs, which you made a video on. And I think there was some other things as well, like the dodo and the goats, uh, which I didn't cover the dodos, uh, unfortunately. It was like a giant dodo and then a tiny little dodo. Very cute, very cute. But I was going in here into Isla event. And what do we have? Friggin' frogs! Look at them all! And the last prize is 160. And of course, I think that's the Beelzebuffo boss, which has a lot of health. Uh, so I'm a bit worried about that one. Uh, actually, I'm a bit worried about getting up to all of those because there's only a handful of dinosaurs that we can use for this event. Um, luckily, the best counter for the Beelzebuffo boss... The Ankylos Lux is allowed in here, which is a godsend. Uh, Tyrannometrodon, as well as another good one. Um, as uh, There's some other ones like the Eutaronix. I think I took off all its speed. Yeah, I did take that off a lot of its speed. Um, so, well, I mean, we'll put in these guys. We'll put in Tyrannometrodon because not only is it... I like how this is Nublar Shores as well. You know, just in case people aren't allowed to see Nublar Shores because they're not high enough um, in the rank, you get to see it here. Um, yeah, Tyrannometrodon is really good here because it's got the 10% extra attack. It's got the 10% extra, uh, health. So it means that I have a super high chance of, uh, oh god, are you going to nullify me? Ooh, I don't like that. I might as well just go for this one. So what are you going to do? Instant distraction. Okay. I mean, sure. Take a thousand damage. <laughs> It seems very easy so far, but seeing that Ula Dominus and other dinos makes me a little bit worried. Okay, this is all right. I mean, maybe it's not. I need to be below half health to do my other thing. We increase attack, cleanse ourselves, get a tiny bit of health, and maybe... Oh, this one's going to be tricky. I don't think it's a game changer, because even if we're below half health... We're good with the next battle because we can start it, get the priority, and it'll all be good from there. And then this guy. Oh, okay, okay. 
Brazilian strike and the slowing. He might go for the slowing. I think he has that right off the bat. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm immune to that. Ha <laughs> ha Yes. And a little bit more health. We did lose some there. We're not, however, going to be able to recover any health in this uh, battle right here. But next battle, uh, we should be able to be okay. Because we have so much health, uh, like, Toronto Metrodon just needs to be out there front and center. And we're getting 50. No, no, sorry. 50. Beelzebufo DNA. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. Again, I really feel like there's no point leveling up Beelzebuff at the moment. Because it doesn't have... It doesn't have the moveset to really make it a threat in, in like, high-ranking games. It would just be used as, like, Hey, look, I have the thing, and I can use it up in here. <laughs> but apart from that, it's not, it's not really usable. I'm going to collect as much DNA as I can for it, however, because I'm expecting... Look at this health ready. More health, please. There we go. Um, I want to have as much DNA as I can because of its hybrid, um, which we will eventually get. And how much help? The 3,000. Right, may as well do that. Armor piercing. You know what? I'll take the 2,000. That's fine. Take the 2,000. Just kill it. Did we gain any health here? I'm really not sure. Ah, uh, okay. So I thought you only got the speed boost if... Maybe we did. It's hard to tell. It it, the numbers don't change. It'd be great if they ticked like... Tick, if they went up or down. Again, that's just something that stuck with me since PlayStation 1 Harry Potter is the house points. Gryffindor. Brrr. I love that. Just, whenever you see like a ball moving and brrr, it, it or just have like the glowy. But like a battle um, Pokemon battle uh, evolutions. Oh, okay. So this, is this a boss fight? Hold on. Is it a boss? It says boss, but it might just be 1v1. It might not be a legit boss. Uh... And really, yeah, I guess that'll do. If they're all out at once, no, no, they can't be. Can't be out at once. This is fine. So remember, we know how to do this one. Um, and actually, I, I think Tyranometrodon's okay with taking this guy on. We might want to say, look how cute he is. He's on the beach. I mean, we'll go for a big hit. It's going to do like 5,000 damage. And then hopefully it doesn't slow. Well, I can't slow us down. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. Because this is all the damage. It's oh, wait, no, hold on. Hold on. Oh, how do we do this? Okay, 1,400, but we gain 1,500. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. We did a whole boss battle and only got health. That's great. Again, love that graphic. Yes. Yeah. Give us the more. Give us the more. Yes. That's English, James. <laughs> right. On to level four. Now we're, now we're increasing the stakes. Now we're getting 90. Um... I really don't know if there's any better team that you could use. That, like, I mean, maybe you could put more boosts on your Tyrannics. You could give it extra health because, of course, you can. Uh, we'll put Tyrannometrodon out here first. Hopefully, the yes, the Nodopatosaurus comes out. So if we get a crit... Oh, it doesn't even need to get a crit. Oh, the juicy health. <laughs> a Patosaurus burger, yes. Right, the Daphosaurus. Good, good, good. And that gives us... Oh, yeah. And then we'll just get to full health here. Probably should have saved that. Hmm. That might have been the better, the better idea. Depends what Purosaurus has. Uh, vulnerability. And that's it, maybe. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll gain extra um, speed. I think we gain attack as well. It's just priority and healing that we get if we're below half health. So, takes us down to... Oh, but... But, hold on. Hold on. Hey, there it is. Look at that. Brilliant. Another 2,000 health. We're four. All battles completed. And we've only lost a tiny bit of health. This is brilliant. This April Fool's event in this game has been amazing. Um, I really feel like if every day was a bit like this, it was always something new, something a bit different, I would honestly not be bothered about you know I, you know i'd want to play it every every day i don't know where i was going with that i would not be bothered about playing it i'd leave it forever <laughs> no i i i would play it more often i really would i played it every day and you know like this you know doing the battles and doing everything you it's became a bit monotonous in a way playing this game because of of how samey everything is 
The, the change up with the catalysts, I guess, has helped. It's made me want to dart things, which I guess is good. <laughs> we'll do this, right? So we get the speed, we get the attack, and then whatever comes in next, it's dead. We're faster than it. We have a crazy amount of attack. We do 12,000 damage to it. Uh, I mean, we could do this one. It almost kills it. We have a 35% chance to kill. Uh, I don't know if we keep the attack for a turn. Oh, we do. We keep the attack for next turn. That's great. Okay, Alocino. And we've got... Oh, we don't have the attack anymore. Oh, cool. Oh, but it's dead anyway. And there we go. Five battles in. And not a scratch on Toronto Metrodon. Honestly. If you can think of a better unique to put these boosts on, apart from, you know, the one that we talked about at the start of the video, which is just crazy OP, I'd like to see it. Right, 90. Uh, Gemini Titan's great. Don't know about the other guys. Very rarely face those things. Keeping that Anklos Lux for the, for the last battle, if I can. Because there's no way for Anklos Lux to gain health. And that's kind of what you want with these battles. Um, my Tyranometrodon would be almost dead at this point, I think, if not already dead. Um... So we'll go for this big hit. And then for this turn and the next turn, we'll just gain health from that Devour. Oh, it reduces attack. That's Gemini. Did it always have that passive? Jeez, okay. Right, so damage, reduced attack. Um, with the shield. Oh, okay. We, we, oh, it's swapping. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's dead anyway. <laughs> is the other thing going to come in or... Oh, it is. Oh, this kind of works out for me then. I think, right? Yeah! Brilliant! As long as it doesn't have a counter. Right, so we should be on full health here. We've got the speed. I don't know what the other thing was. We'll just go for regular hit. Just to finish it, increase the attack for next turn. Um, and then... Oh, we cleanse ourselves. I didn't even realize. It's got a revenge. Is the revenge good, though? Oh, it doesn't have priority. It doesn't matter. It is dead. Yes. Oh. Oh. Try imagine dog. Baby. You got this. That's another 90 frog DNA. Yes. How many more do we have left? Oh, 160. <gasps> okay, here we go. Another boss. Right, how much health do you have? Is the question. 12,000. It has its feast ability as well. Do we have anything that swaps in and does damage? No, we don't. Right. Because that, that was Anklos Lux technique was to do a rampage and run, get out of dodge, and then have Valkyrie or... Somebody else come in to do damage, like Paratops. Um, you know what? I'm I'm thinking Tyranometrodon, man. I'm thinking Tyranometrodon still. Right, so the next boss after this one will be the big boy. Okay, so we could go for... No, well, we have to go for this one. We have to get the health. Oh, yes! Almost there. Uh, as long as it doesn't reduce our attack, I think it will. They always go for Cunning Strike. Yes, okay, so it's going to reduce... Um, then it'll probably go for afflicting strike or limited evasive strike. I think that's the next one it's going to go for. So we could go for a big hit here. Um, but I'm going to do this. I think it's really going to matter, depend, I should say, whether we go through its evasive. That's going to be the make or break here. Um, yeah, there's the evasive. Limited evasive strike. 3,000 damage, man. Crazy. Crazy! We gain that health, and now it's whether or not we go through. Da! Da! Okay. Okay, we didn't. Um, right, what's it going to do here? Cunning strike, it's going to reduce attack. Uh, what is its... 2,500 damage. But we do gain the health, and here we go. Yep, there it is! Oh! Actually, actually... Oh, it's not. Oh, it's awkward. Ooh, it's awkward. It's just above half health, which means that we can't stop the next fight going for priority, going for the extra heal. But this is it, the final, the final three battles. And it's... it's... I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, man. <laughs> I know the next one is Ula, Ula Dominus. Okay, okay. Please be Ardent as Maxima. Please be Ardent as Maxima. Yes! There it is. There it is. So what we can do here is brilliant. We can go for this hit, uh, do a huge amount of damage, and then we can go for... Because he's got his counter. Oh, no, he doesn't have a counter. I didn't think about that. Oh, wait, how much damage does this do? Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, that's fine. 
that's fine. That's fine. I think he's gonna get the swap out. Swap. Someone's gonna swap in. I think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's fine. I was a bit worried about this thing though. I I couldn't remember what it does when it swaps in. Okay, stun, and that's it. Oh, this is brilliant. Yes. The hit, it does get a counter, but I think we heal first. Yeah, there it is. Speed, attack, yes! Oh, because its counters kind of kill it. Uh, there, more, yes! And then we can just do, oh. Oh, instant shield breaking strike is priority for this thing. That is dangerous. Damn. Okay, we cleanse. And then the Aldrigus, I think. Okay, we're not quicker. Uh, we can kill it all. But what does it have? Alert peck. Are we resistant to rend? Yes. Okay. Protective alert. Interesting. Okay, he's going to reduce our attack. Oh, just by a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. Kind of works for me. Oh, it does. Right, right. We don't have any priority. We are going to gain some health. Now, I am I'm scared now. Because he could go for that 4,200. What... Anything happen when we swap? No. Okay. Okay. Dio! Yes! Is it going to do something? Is it going to heal? What's it going to do? Dodge. Okay, that's fine. Dodge is fine. Dio's going to come in. It does not have two boost on it. Don't say it has anything. There we go. Sw oh, it is swapping attack. I thought it was just a counter. Dio, save the day. Came in clutch. I think we gained just a tiny bit of health. We're on 4,200. We got 4,300. Oh my god, is it doable? Is it doable? If we could just get past number nine, we're through. We're through. Um, this, however, the Monla Rhino swapping in and doing 1,500 damage and possibly a stun. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this one. Could this be the end of Tyrannometrodon? If I'm against Urlodominus straight away, I've killed it. If I'm against Model Rhino, I've killed it. However, if Geminidus is first, Tyrannometrodon's out of there. Um, with that being said, I'm going to start with Anklos Lux here because I'm, I'm worried. Um, I guess what I could do... I think Anklos Lux has a swap in shield, right? And nothing happens if I swap out. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with Tyrannometrodon and if it's... Gemini, that's what Gemini Titan will swap out. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Um, because it doesn't matter. I knew it! Ah, you little bugger you! <laughs> right. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think this last frog will be a boss frog. I don't think so. I think it'll just be what we're used to. So I'm gonna go for this, uh, because I just want the counter, and I think we go through any, sh any, uh, armor? Yes, we do. Okay, that's, that's all I care about, is going through that armor. We just need the counter to slowly kill it. Beautiful. Has he reduced my armor? He has. The cheeky git. All right, all right. Oh, ho, ho. 3,000 damage with my... Uh, oh, I'm not vulnerable. That's okay then. Right, so we get the counter, but he does have a shield up. Uh, we get to do our hostile glow, which isn't so bad. He's definitely now lined up for a Tyrannometrodon to come in. And I'm kind of tempted to do that. Um... Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, just get my invincibility, because he's got two turns, I think, now. This turn, next turn, and then he can go for it. So now he's gonna do nothing, and all I'm gonna be doing, as long as he doesn't reduce my attack, is just get encounter and counter. Um, if I can get the hit off, I can then have my, uh, is it Rampage Run? Yes! Okay, I can do Rampage and Run now. This is brilliant. Oh, he's swapping! Model Rhino? Is it Model right? I mean, it's got to be right. I think Urla Dominus does have a swap in of something, though. I could be wrong. Model Rhino to get the stun. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. And he's quicker. This is going to be great. Um, oh, he, he didn't get... Didn't get the stun. No way. This kind of is bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I could take some health, I suppose. We'll take some health on Model Rhino. He's stuck in. He can't do anything. He's not quicker. We may as well get some health here. May as well. We can't go for our priority uh, when just we're above that health. And here it comes. Right. So 5,900. He could do his distracting rampage if he wanted to. 
He could do a cloak. Ferocious cunning impact. Oh, that gives attack first. 4,500. Okay, no crit, please. 50% chance. Oh, oh, my God. That was lucky. Ooh, that was very lucky. And I think that's done it. I think that might have done it. Uh, Geminitis. Mm, okay, yeah, we got to worry about Geminitis. How much health? Ooh, I think even with a crit, I think we're good. And we're below. Yes, priority. And we're below. Yes, we're going to get so much health. Boom. And now it's just up to that model rhino that can't swap in. Oh, wait, is that it? I think that might be it. Did we just get... We gained health. I mean, we lost a lot from Anklos looks, but a hundred and... This is... Oh my god, yes. Okay, and then finally, the pinnacle assault, the final round. 17,000 health. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I think... I think we're good with Tower and Metrodon. I think we're honestly good. Um, because we have enough health to tank the initial hit. As long as it's not quicker. Could be a problem if it is quicker. Oh god, yeah, it's it's a problem. It's a big problem. Um, because it's gonna reduce my attack. Oh, so we're only gonna do 2,900. And he- No crit! Oh, that's good, okay. Boom, get that hit. Right, we need to be below 4,100 health. I think we will be. And then we can do our... Yeah! Okay, priority. Get a priority. Um, we don't get any... Oh, no extra attack beforehand. Okay. But the speed, the heal, that's good. That's good. And then it's his turn to go for his evasive, I think he'll go for. And then I don't know what it's going to be. Oh, 4,000. Oh, 4,000. And the devour just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, if we get through... Can we go through the block now? He's dead. He's done. He's dead because it's going to be like 1,700 and it's probably... Oh, it's not. It's this one for 3,000. And that's it. That's it. Torino Metrodon, well done. Well done. You did brilliant. You did brilliant. Now it's a case of if he goes for that rally, I don't know. I'm going to go for my priority shield here. Okay, that's great. Because he would have went for something here. He would have went for his rally. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, this not so good. And he also reduces my armor with this. Oh, the damage. Okay. I've got no boost on this guy. Oh, no, it's affliction. Never mind. Okay. Oh, that's the, there it is. There's the feast. There's the feast. That's what we didn't want to happen. That's regeneration all the way. No, this frog is too much. Like, what can we do? What can, like, what can we do? I mean, we can go for... Okay, he's vulnerable. He's vulnerable. Uh, invincibility, just to... I mean, I'm assuming he's just going to try and reduce my attack here. Right, what's the cooldown on Feast? Four. So this is the first of the attacks. Yeah, I thought he was going to do this. I thought so. That's fine. We get a little bit of a counter off. That's one. Okay. Evasive. Uh, don't kill me, please. No, the crit! No! Oh, no, this... This is not looking good, man. This is not looking good. Um, hostile. Right, we've got armor. We've got so much armor. Oh! <laughs> hostile glow! And then, I don't think he's got a priority attack except for Feast. And he's on his sec he's on his third turn now. So we're going to do this. He's vulnerable. We're going to get a counter. We're going to get our invincibility up. Uh, actually, I think he's probably... I think I need to get out because I think he's going to go for his nullifying. Yeah, so I need to get out. I need my... No, he's quicker! No! That's it. That's GG. I think that might be GG. Oh, no. Oh, wait, hold on. No, it's not. He keeps his health. Oh, this is okay. Okay, we can do it. Second round, let's go. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just add a team. I don't care. It's, it's added to a team. I know it's pathetic. We got this. We got this. New Blast Shores. I thought, I thought we had to do it all in one. Okay. You Tauranix. I've had you for so long, and I only recently took some boosts off you. I've kept the boosts I had on you from basically the start. Uh, we'll, we'll, oh, limited evasive strike now. 
Not going for his normal technique. Okay. Right. We'll reduce the damage. We oh, but the thing is he can heal though. That's the only bugger. Um, I think I have a priority, don't I? No. Okay. Please don't. Cunning strike. I think that's probably killed me, to be fair. Uh, yeah, 3,000. I do have some armor, but... I think I think we're done, guys. I, I honestly don't think we can do anything else because he's going to do feast uh, at some point in the very near future. Afflict... Affliction? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's just... It's like, just don't go for the feast. You already have a crazy amount of crit chance here. Distracting with the crit. No, we're so close. We're so close. Is there anything I could do? I mean this. Cleanse. I yeah, he's he's killed. He's killed Indominus or Indoraptor Gen 2. I kinda just wanna die now. Just just die instantly. Um Okay, nullifying Rampage. <sighs> I think we're done. I think he's gonna go for any second. There it is. GG. GG. Instant kill and recovered all of his health. Ah, oh, that was super tough. Super tough. Well, the only thing we're really missing out on is 160 DNA. And we basically got so much from this. Anyway, guys, let me know if you have managed to beat this boss. It was, it was clinch at the end. If, I, if Agalos Lux just had more... Oh, I, I... You know what? Maybe I would have killed it if I went for priority. I just forgot he was faster. Oh, I could have done it. No, it's definitely new. Well, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye